Naja Naja, the spectacled cobra, also known as the Indian cobra, Sri Lankan cobra, and even the black Pakistan cobra. This is a venomous species belonging in the Elapidae family, native to the Indian subcontinent, including India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and others. This species is also a part of the Big Four in India, which refers to the four snakes responsible for the most snake bites in that area. The others are the Russell's Viper, Crate, and Sawscaled Viper. The highly adaptive nature of the Indian Cobra leads to them being found in urban areas around where people live. Before we start with the general description, let's get some information out of the way that may be confusing. I mentioned the Black Pakistan Cobra as being Naja Naja. Depending on what sources you read or who you talk to, the Black Pakistan Cobra is either considered Naja Naja or a subspecies. Naja Naja Karachiensis. At one point, all of the Asiatic cobras were considered subspecies of Naja Naja until they were separated into different species. The monocle cobra, for instance, was Naja Naja Kiuthia. Now it's just Naja Kiuthia. With all of this out of the way, let's continue on to the general description of the spectacled cobra. The spectacled cobra is a medium-sized snake with adults reaching lengths of four to six feet or even longer in some cases. The common name, spectacled cobra, refers to the pattern on the back of their hood. The two I-shaped patterns connected by a U-shaped pattern, which resembles glasses. This differs from the monocle cobra, which has a single O-shaped monocle pattern. Some spectacled cobras, this pattern can be very prominent. On others, it can be much more faint. With those found in Pakistan, it can be completely absent. The rest of the body is typically a uniform color of either brown or black. This species can be found in a variety of habitats due to their ability to adapt to different environments. They can be found in grasslands, forests, agricultural areas, and even urban landscapes. This is what leads to the human encounters that can end in accidents. People and other animals attract rodents. Spectacled cobras are rodent specialists. The abundance of prey is what leads them to be in these areas. The unique thing about this species is that these Indian cobras that are found in these urban settings have adapted to different lifestyles compared to their forest counterparts, active at different times of the day to catch prey or avoid potential predators, people. So I mentioned that the spectacled cobra is a rodent specialist, but they also feed on other animals as well, such as birds, eggs, other small mammals, amphibians, reptiles, which can even include other snakes. The venom of the spectacled cobra is a potent neurotoxin. Neurotoxic venom paralyzes the nervous system. It's fast acting. Venom in snakes is used for prey capture. For defense, it's last resort. This species will bite and hold on to prey, injecting the venom, which takes effect quickly. Being in a lapid, the fangs on the spectacle cobra are short front fixed fangs, differing from those of vipers, which are also front fanged, but long and hinge-like. Like I just said, venom is for prey. The spectacle cobra does everything it can to avoid confrontation. That's what the behaviors such as hooding and hissing are for, to get the potential predator to leave them alone. They'll even strike with their mouth closed, essentially headbutting. So when bites do occur, it's oftentimes a result of people messing with it, either trying to hurt it or pick it up. Accidents, of course, do happen too, but not as often as with people messing with the snake. Even though the Indian cobra is part of the big four, they are highly revered. It's associated with many Hindu deities, and snake worship is prominent in some regions. There's even a festival which revolves around them, Naga Panchami. The spectacle cobra, like other cobras, are oviparous, meaning they are egg layers. Breeding typically occurs during the monsoon months. Male spectacle cobras will actively search for a female. They track scent particles left by the female. If the male finds a receptive female, Courtship behavior ensues. Those behaviors are twitchy, jerky-like movements, nudging the female. If successful, 
Once the eggs are ready to be laid, the female will seek a suitable area to lay them. A clutch of eggs can range anywhere from 10 to 20 or even more, depending on factors such as age and health of the female and even environmental conditions. Once she lays the eggs, she leaves. She doesn't provide parental care. The incubation period of the eggs is variable. It can take anywhere from 50 to 60 days or even more in some cases. Once again, this depends on environmental factors. When the baby cobras hatch from the eggs, they are entirely self-sufficient and have to fend for themselves. They are equipped with fangs and venom right from birth. They'll eat small prey such as amphibians until they grow big enough to feed on other animals. But I hope you enjoyed learning about the Indian cobra, one of the coolest cobra species on earth, in my opinion. But subscribe, click like, and a big shout out to my channel members. Now if you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a channel member. Get early access to videos, exclusive videos, stuff like that. Click the description. Join the Discord channel. Love y'all.